How to interpret a picture sometimes implies being more of a detective than anything else. Decoding the pictures as a detective would rather than a historian. Sometimes you have to decode the puzzle inside a picture. For example, take this image of life during an evening at home in New France. What's going on exactly? Zoom into a part of the picture and decide what's going on here between this father and this mother and these children. Pick another picture and decode all the puzzle pieces of their life. How did they cook? How did they wash their clothing? Zoom in on this part of the picture and decide what's going on with this particular character. You can investigate their reality piece by piece to discover what in this image they're actually playing at. You can block off certain parts of the picture and then decide what's happening in the other parts. For example, if you knew only what was happening on the right side, you could draw and imagine what was happening on the left. Sometimes the interplay with one side of the picture and the other side can suggest what's going on piece by piece. And then when you have the image, the whole image in mind, what you have is one reality of life in New France and one reality only. What you have here are habitants playing at cards, probably in the evening. A detective, though, must look at other realities. A detective must investigate by going further than this one reality into what we call other contexts for what's going on. For example, the French Canadians weren't just playing cards. There were other realities at the same time. And this allows us to what we call contextualize the first reality. For example, they were relaxing in the evening after a day of hard work on the farm or possibly clearing land, as in this picture of one of the earliest habitant farmers. Again, to discover a little more about the context, you need to consider the image itself, who painted the image, when it was painted. In this case, a picture of 1620, but actually painted in 1918. Similarly, another context. In the daytime, the habitants would have interactions with native peoples, exchanging goods. So some of the goods around that table may have been actually traded. Again, look at the dates. This image of the time of the 1600s was actually created in 1722. How accurate a representation is it? Oh yes, there were many other contexts to consider. When the French were relaxing, were they always relaxing? From 1600 onward, there were often conflicts between natives and habitants of New France. This, this was another context to consider when considering life in New France. You need to examine all the pieces of the puzzle when you interpret 